everyone, it's Mia from Rose Nails by Maria Slay Coombs and I just want to show you this colour changing design using SBD London's colour changing polishes in numbers 3 and 6. It's just a really nice simple star design but it's just to kind of showcase how the colour changing gel polishes can be used to sort of create colour shifting artwork. Obviously when you're doing this make sure you pick colours that complement each other and also make sure that when they change colour they still complement each other depending on whether they're hot or cold. So I'm just going on with a base layer of um, colour changing polish number three and I'm going to do two coats of that polish to give a nice background colour. These polishes are really really nice, they're really nice to use, they self level beautifully, they're just so so nice. So that's layer number one and obviously that's um it obviously it looks like a plain tip again that is actually color changing polish number three once it's been in the lamp and it's got hot so this color changing polish goes from black to white and then the other polish that i'm using goes from like a dark pinky mauve color to hot pink so when the design is cold it will look black and dark sort of ready pink and then when it's hot it will look white and hot pink which is quite cool and obviously it still complements each other whether it's hot or cold and obviously when it's on a client you're going to um, have it hotter on the nail bed and colder towards the tip so I've just put a little bit of colour change polish number six onto my palette and I'm using my Nao Nails 0003 striping brush and a little Diddy detailer brush that I've got. I think it was from eBay. I can't even remember where I got that from. I got it ages ago, but I love it. So I'm just gonna go in, make sure you load your brush. When you're loading your brush, make sure you are rotating the brush through the polish and kind of dragging it off as you finish so you don't get any lumps and bumps along the brush, especially when you're using a long brush like this, because it, it will affect how you're gonna paint the design. So we're just going on doing really simple star shapes. You know those stars that you used to draw when you were in school with like the, the sort of five lines and you would try to make sure that your pencil didn't come off the paper? That's the easiest way that I've ever found of doing stars with gel polish and then just fill it in. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm doing those five lines and then fill it in. Um, my stars are not the neatest. I was recording this very late in the evening and I was very, very tired. So my stars are not as neat as they would normally be, so I do apologise for that. But it was the only time I had left in the day for filming. <laughs> so that's the time I had to use. So yeah, when you're doing this design, I've decided to sort of do uh, a sort of... Um, different sizes of stars throughout the whole design some of it will only show part of the stars so I'm just sort of trying to make it varied as you can see the background color of the nail is going back to black now as it's cooling down it will stay whiter towards the middle because the blue tack underneath my tip holder is still hot so yeah I'm just gonna let you watch me do my stars for a bit and I will talk to you soon
Okay, so once you finish your stars, as you can see, I kind of added another little star in there, um, just where it had like a bit of a blank area, and you've popped them all in the lamp. If you do need to, you can just flash cure your stars as you're doing them, just so they don't wobble about anywhere. So I just decided that the stars, I think, needed a little bit more definition, and I thought it would be quite nice to have um, sort of an outline that wasn't changing colour, so that there was like a constant colour in the design as the rest of it was changing. So I'm just going to use my wonderful Nail Kami Artisan Gel Paints. Um, I absolutely love these. They're such a brilliant... Uh, they're, they're so good to work with. I absolutely love them. I need to get some more of them, actually, in loads of different colours. Because you can even use them um, as full colours on, on nails. So they're really, really cool. Um, so I'm just going to go around and outline all of the stars, again using my Nao Nails 0003 detailer. Um, again, this is just a nice easy design, it's really good for beginners, it's just a whole lot of lines. I love designs that look complicated, that are a whole lot of lines. I think they're brilliant and it can make you sort of look like you can do these fabulous designs when actually it's just a lot of getting your lines in the right places although again my stars are not as neat as they could have been and as I would normally do on a client because I was so 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 tired but yeah so just going around outlining all of these stars I did kind of play with the idea of just kind of putting the lines where they would be highlighted so not going around the whole star but going just on like highlighted corners of it but I thought actually as there's going to be a lot of detail going on with the colour changing process happening I thought I didn't want to sort of confuse the design so I just decided to go around every single little bit of the stars and make them super pretty so yeah this process is a little bit tedious because it is a lot, a lot of lines um, but I just think it's so cool and I'm going to be sort of doing a couple more designs with the colour changing polishes. Um, I want to sort of have a look and see which colours are going to complement each other best. Um, but I will be doing more designs with these colour changing polishes because I just think it's so fun. I think it's absolutely awesome that you can have a, a design that complements each other when it's hot and then when it's cold as well. So I'm going to have a little bit of a play around with the colours. There's a beautiful teal green which I think is colour change 5 but you'll have to forgive me if that's wrong and it goes from teal to lime green I have actually used it in a video that I've put up already and I absolutely love that one too so I'm going to figure out a design uh, and another polish that complements that and do a design with that too I just think they're so fun, I think they're so versatile and I think they're underused. I think a lot of people have colour changing polishes and they don't know what to do with them because um, you've got to try and figure out a whole set of what they're going to look good in and you kind of don't want to mix glitter or artwork with it because obviously it's going to be changing colour and is it going to go when it's hot and when it's cold, is it all going to work together? But if you put a bit of thought and effort into it, I think they're just so cool and so versatile and you can use them for all sorts of different things. I love them. So I'm definitely going to be using these again in more videos. Um, I've got quite a few videos coming up actually that I've got in the pipeline and I've got some more products on their way to me that I'm going to sort of do videos with you guys, including ombre and French with signature gel. Um, so definitely sort of hit that bell for notifications of when they come out. Hopefully it won't be too long until they're out. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping you're liking the design so far. As I say, it's a, it's a lot of line work. It's very tedious. I certainly probably wouldn't recommend doing a full set of this unless you've got a very patient client. Um, it's probably best to do a um, accent finger or maybe one or two fingers of the design and then maybe the rest in just one of the colour changing gel polishes, maybe like the ready pink or something would look really really good together as a full set. Um, so yeah, just have a little think, have a play with the colour changing polishes, have a look at what colours they go when they're cold and when they're hot and really try and work them to your advantage. I think a lot of people do get a bit scared of them and think, oh well I can't put that glitter on it because then it's not going to look good when it's hot or when it's cold or whatever, but they just take a little bit more thought but I think they're awesome. 
So right, that's all cured with my artisan gel paint, which is a 60 second cure. Um, I think I forgot to mention as well that the colour changing gel polishes are also a 60 second cure. And I'm just going in with my lovely tempering top coat from SPD London to make it super shiny. You can go in with um, two layers of top coat if you want, just because the artisan gel paint does sort of raise it up a bit and, and doesn't give it a completely sleek finish with top coat. I only did one layer of top coat in this because obviously it's not on a client. So that's the finished nail and that's when it's hot. So I've just got a little mug of cold water and a little mug of uh, hot water just sort of off the camera just to show you the difference between them. So that's the design when it's cold. And then I will show you the design when it's hot. I just think they're so fun. And obviously they'll fade in between the cold and the hot and they work really nicely no matter what the temperature is. And I just love them. I think they're so funny. I think they're great. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've been able to see how versatile these polishes are and how much you can do with them. Um, so yeah, definitely get the collection from SBD London and have a play around with them. They're brilliant. As again, I've used uh, numbers three and six in this video and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.